does everything, and he's a very, very accomplished comic. He's worked all over the world, but he's been to come right down here and be with us tonight. Please welcome Peter Gross. <laughs> Yeah, I have worked everywhere, but I'm a bit, things are a bit strapped at the moment. I mean, I can't even afford dry cleaning, so you know what I do? I give all my clothes to St Vincent de Paul, they wash them, iron them, next morning I buy them back for 69 cents. <laughs> do, you have those, do you have those cheap shops around? Is it, is it, it's a boom all around Australia, those cheap shops. I love those. Who'd have thought there'd be a store you could go to in the 90s with 20 bucks? and buy enough worthless crap to last you the next three months. <laughs> I love those stores, and I get sucked into those bargains, you know. 20 pairs of jocks, five bucks, yes. <laughs> Gotta be good quality. <laughs> I'll have a hundred bucks worth, so I've bought my entire lifetime supply of jocks, plus have enough to pass them down through the family. <laughs> Trouble is with those stores, there is a bit of a quality control problem, you know. You buy those jocks, they're medium, you wash them, they're petite. <laughs> No passing those jocks down through the family. With those jocks, there will be no family. <laughs> Been buying a few albums lately, you know, not so much for the music. I like to get the subliminal message from them. I bought Let It Be. If you play that one in reverse, this is a subliminal message. Man, you're really screwing up your CD player. <laughs> or that classic Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. Play that one in reverse. It goes, I see you on the dark side of the moon. Here comes the sun. <laughs> I was thinking the other day about, you know, what makes the perfect date. I don't know about you guys, but for me, it's pretty much if she shows up. <laughs> I'm not that good at relationships. You know, I tried treating women as an equal. It's just that most women don't want to be treated as a balding middle-aged parasite. <laughs> The problem, the problem in re relationships, you know, the big, big problem is that men and women think differently. You know that Alana song that goes, I'm here to remind you of the cross-eyed bear that you gave to me. You know that song? Well, I thought that song was about a cross-eyed bear. <laughs> My girlfriend's trying to tell me it's about emotional responsibility within a relationship. I'm saying, no, <laughs> it's about a seeing impaired teddy. <laughs> You ever have those really big arguments, you know, where your eyeballs are bulging out, your neck veins are pulsating, there's saliva dribbling out of your mouth, you're looking into her face, it's like, put the, put the, put the, put the, put the. <laughs> and halfway through you realise that you're wrong. <laughs> and you know you're wrong, and she knows you're wrong, and you know she knows you're wrong, but you won't back off, you want to be right. <laughs> <laughs> Happens to me when I drive, I race people I don't even know to places I don't want to go. <laughs> I end up in another state. I don't care. I won. Thank you very much.